are ticked. Oh, they are livid. Within days of demanding a total of $15 million from the city of Irving, Texas, and the Irving Independent Squirrel District, clock boy Ahmed Mohammed announced in a long-distance phone interview from Cutter that he's homesick and he wants to go back to Texas, which he considers to be home. In October, Ahmed Mohammed accepted a fully funded education scholarship from the Qatar Foundation, also known as Qatar. It's an organization with reputed ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, uh, he chose that over an invitation to MIT, which is among the most prestigious institutions of higher learning in the country. Now, what this is all about, you see, this kid, Ahmed Mohammed made this science project, and it looked like a suitcase bomb. And so the school reacted to it as a as a as a as a module of a bomb, and then you know all hell broke loose. And they asked the kid to leave school. They shut down things and this and that. And Obama said, "This is outrageous. This is this is exactly in the left, all of the left. This is exactly what we're talking about. When we talk about anti-Muslim bias in this bigoted country." Backlash against Muslims has got to stop. This is a this is just a genius of a 15 year old boy. He's an innocent little science project, a clock, right? It was, by the way, there was nothing ingenious about it. I mean, it was an ugly suitcase and it was an ugly looking clock. But he was immediately pronounced a genius, said to be ready to go at age 15 to MIT, except he lived in America and thus didn't have a chance. And so he had to get out, and Cutter took it. And this allowed the drive-bys to go with their narrative of how anti-Muslim the United States is, how anti-Muslim Texas is, how anti-Muslim Dallas is, how anti-Muslim Irving, Texas is, how anti-Muslim...